Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Dylan Miller and I am super motivated to helping people improve their health using natural solutions, the tools that were kind of left here for us, right? For thousands of years, this is what we've used. Uh, and yet we kind of got off track somewhere along the way, right? So I'm here to get you back on track and I want to talk about, talk about how I use um, natural solutions that have absolutely made over my medicine cabinet They've completely reduced the toxic load in our house and are really um, helping us to become better versions of ourselves because of that, right? Because when your body has to do less thinking about like, what the heck did you just put in me? Um, it can then start showing up in other ways, right? You're thinking clear, your, your bones and your joints move easier. Um, so we want to get back to that. Let me take you back to about seven years ago. I was pregnant with my first daughter and I, I couldn't stop cold and flu season from coming and allergy season from coming and uh, stress and all of those things that were coming from working in, in corporate healthcare, right? Um, I guess any corporate world, any world, life in general, even if, even if you're sitting at home right now, you still might be stressed, right? Um, and I couldn't stop all those things from coming and yet I couldn't take anything because I was pregnant and it made me go, ooh, okay, how do I get through this, right? So went to the old Google machine and started looking into lifestyle, natural things that I could be doing in order to up-level my health. So I started planting the seed and I'm, I'm kind of a research geek as I hope you are too, um, because it's good. We should be researching what's going in and on our bodies, right? Um, you only get one of them after, after all, right? So I started doing a lot of research and different teas were popping up. Of course, a lot of different foods were popping up. Food is medicine, right? Um, and essential oils, essential oils, essential oils. And I was like, hmm, there's something to this, right? Because you know when the universe just like throws something at you in all different angles, basically screaming at you, pay attention to me, right? So I started paying attention and I started, I started using them and I was having such... Um, good experiences, but I wasn't using them to their full potential, right? Uh, because I was scared. I didn't know. And of course, I was paying attention to what I was putting in my body, right? Well, fast forward, baby is born, okay? And I, I kind of said to myself, hmm, I just went nine months without putting any chemicals in my body. I survived. I, in fact, I'm thriving right now. Um, if I didn't just put something in my body for the last nine months, and if I'm not supposed to be putting that stuff in my body when I'm pregnant, why would I put it in my body when I'm not pregnant? Light bulb, okay? So that was my light bulb moment. And I knew moving forward that I had to create a different story in our household, right? Because that certainly wasn't the story as, as of then, okay? Um, you know, my husband and I were very much like, allergy medicine for a certain period of time, um, you know, you'd have a workout or an injury in playing sports or whatever. And it was like acetaminophen, right? And how I, I knew I had to get away from those things. I knew that it wasn't sustainable for my health. Um, and I knew that I wanted to create something different. I wanted to teach my kids differently, right? That that's just because it's not the way I was raised. It didn't mean that it didn't have to be the way they were raised, right? So I started um, using things like diffusers, which we will talk about. Um, I learned a lot about safety, right? I learned what the heck is an essential oil and, and how am I supposed to use this? And I started using them within our house and it's been a game changer, okay? So I, today I wanna talk about safety. I wanna talk about um, some tools you can use to know what plant to use for what. I'm gonna talk about um, quality and and, um, and I'm going to just make sure you feel really, really comfortable so that you can dive in and completely make over your medicine cabinet um, and a lot of the chemicals that you use in your house just by using plants, okay? So let's get started. Question one, what is an essential oil? So an essential oil, plants in a bottle. Nothing more complicated than that, I promise. That's it. That's all, okay? So when I have... Um, a bottle of peppermint, for example, okay? 
Peppermint's an amazing plant. I have it growing in my garden. I walk past the plant, I pluck it, and I stick it in my mouth. Maybe I put it, you know, I make a, a drink with it, or um, I put it in some hot water and, and drink to calm my digestive system. There's so many different things that you can do with this peppermint. However, when you're using the essential oil, which is extracted from the leaf, okay, um, it is the most concentrated way to use the plant. So peppermint, for example, one drop of peppermint oil is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. Same plant. However, this is the most concentrated way to use the plant. So the essential oil, it comes from the rind, the leaf, the, the roots, the bark, any part of the plant that, that you that creates an essential oil, that's where you get it from. So even think of, you can think of a peppermint leaf. Um, when you, if you were to take that leaf and rub it in your hands and then smell your hands, you're gonna, you're gonna smell like peppermint, right? Cause there's all these little pockets in that leaf that um, you just popped when you rubbed them. Same with peeling an orange, okay? Wild orange is one of my favorite essential oils. Think of uh, when you peel an orange, okay, and your hands smell like orange. You haven't even cracked into the, the core or the juices, right? Um, but it's the essential oil from the rind of that plant that you are actually using um, in order or that's that's coming out on your hands. So that think of that fruit, for example. And when you look at an orange, my whole mouth just filled it with saliva just thinking about an orange. When you look at that orange, you see all those little pockets that we now know are holding the essential oil, okay? Um, those pockets of essential oils are actually there to keep that plant safe. They act like the plant's immune system. So if that that orange or the lemon or whatever fruit you're thinking of is fall, falls from the tree, maybe it gets scratched, maybe it bruises, um, what's gonna happen is the essential oils are gonna rush to that area in order to start healing the plant kind of like our immune system does for us, right? So if I were to get a cut on my arm, my immune system's gonna rush to that area, it's gonna, it's gonna create a scab or whatever it needs to do, right? And then all of my healthy cells are gonna formulate there and it's gonna heal, okay? Same thing, okay? So the, the essential oils are in the plant in order to heal the plant, just like when we use them on us, they're there to heal us. Amazing, right? Someone knew what they were doing when they put them here, imagine that. So the most concentrated way to use the plant. So I will be sure to talk to you about safety because you want to respect the potency of the plant as well. And there's a lot of fear mongers out there on La La Land internet um, that are trying to create fear around um, using plant-based medicine. Um, and I'm here to assure you this is absolutely not the case. So this is because quality matters. Okay. And that's all I can say um, is quality matters. And it's just like our food industry. Okay. The food industry, there is a difference between the, you know, lettuce and peppers and cucumbers and everything that are growing in my garden. Okay. And going out to a fast food restaurant and grabbing a burger with some French fries. Okay, do you see the difference? Or um, there's a difference in how they, they support my body, okay? What my body knows what to do with them. There's also a difference between, you know, example A, an, an apple, okay, that I've washed and I'm eating, and um, grabbing a box of something or can of something that we, that have ingredients on it that we have no idea what the heck they're even talking about, okay? so. There's a, the, the essential oil industry, unfortunately, is no different. So even if your bottle says 100% pure essential oil, only 10% of that bottle actually has to be 100% pure in order for them to label it as that. Sketchy? Yep. However, that's, that's unfortunately um, labeling laws and, and all of those sorts of things. And depending on where you're from, they might be a little bit different. Um, but quality still matters, okay? So for me, when I was in my in my element of research geek extraordinaire, I was I did a lot of research on different essential oil companies, and what I learned um, is that there is there's a big difference, right? And everybody's trying to jump on the bandwagon, um, whether they want a financial piece of the pie or or whatever, right? Whatever the reason is. And I honestly, I, I like to believe that a lot of these companies um, don't think that they have adulterated essential oils. However, because 
um, there's so many middlemen between them and the actual farmer, they're getting adulterated essential oils at some point along the way, okay? So I personally have gravi gravitated to doTERRA, okay? So um, if you haven't heard of doTERRA, Google them. Uh, yes, they're the largest essential oil company out there, um, but it is because they're the purest, okay? And amongst their customers, they have like a 75% retention rate. That is significant, okay? So 75% of the people that use them continue to use those ones. Um, and if you try these versus the ones you bought off of, you know, from one of your big box stores or online randomly, um, you will 100%, you will smell the difference and you will notice on the labeling, it looks a little bit different too. So um, doTERRA sources the plant from where the plant originates. That matters, okay? So um, for example, lavender. I have lavender growing in my backyard. It smells great, um, does its thing with bugs. It's why we planted it there. Um, however, very few, very little therapeutic benefits in the lavender growing in my backyard. A, where I come from, I don't, I don't have the right soil, the right climate, the right altitude, all the things that you need in order to grow great lavender. I don't know how to harvest lavender, nor do I know how to extract the essential oil, okay? Um, but what I do know is that um, it, it works for what I need it for in my backyard. Um, and when I want to use it for its therapeutic benefits, I get the bottle. Okay, lavender has tons of therapeutic benefits and we will absolutely talk about them. Um, but when you grow the plant where the plant originates, lavender comes from France. So doTERRA has farmers in France that have been harvesting it for generations and they have all of the right environmental factors in order to grow great, great lavender. And what I love about um, their, their um, model of sourcing is what they call co-impact sourcing because actually 60% of the places that they get their essential oils from are underdeveloped countries. Now this might not matter to you, but it matters to me. Okay. Um, I want to know that as uh, for me, I'm, I live in North America. I typically, what we would do is we would go into these places and we would exploit, um, exploit, what they have as natural resources, right? Um, and it, it blows my mind that in this day and age, we can live the way we do within North America, and yet 60% of this world is living without basic human needs, okay? Uh, they don't have food, they don't have shelter, they don't have healthcare, they don't have education. Um, and literally every day is riding the struggle bus, right? That's ridiculous. It, it just blows my mind, right? Um, so don't even get me started on that topic. I will just keep going on and on. Um, so I love that through their co-impact sourcing model, um, when they go to these places like Somalia for frankincense, or um, when they go to source from places like Nepal, there's, there's lots of different spots that they source from, 60% of their spots. They go in, they make sure these communities are set up with food, shelter, you know, water, running water, so they're not walking five hours a day to get water, right? Um, they set them up with schools, all the all those sorts of things. Um, and what they do is they work directly with the farmers. So they don't send in a middleman and then really pay the middleman and then underpay the farmers, okay? They work directly with the farmers and not just teach them about different harvesting techniques that we might know about, but teach them how to run a business. Okay. So it's not, it's that teach a man to fish, but it's, I'm not just teaching you how to fish. I'm going to teach you how to sell the fish. Okay. So they're actually helping and, and creating them about commerce and, um, all of these things that we know about where we live. Um, but they don't know about yet or have no means of necessarily getting it done. Okay. So doTERRA has co-impact sourcing and they are incredibly transparent about, um, all, even all the testing that's done on their oils. So for example, this bottle of frankincense, you could go on a website called source you.com and I could put in this barcode that I have for this frankincense and it will tell me every single test that's been done on my frankincense, my specific bottle. Okay. That's incredibly transparent. Okay. I can guarantee the bottle that you bought from Walmart absolutely did not do that. However, you know what? I always like to say, you know, if you um, went into somewhere like Walmart or the dollar store or 
sage or wherever, like all of these spots that have essential oils, um, if you went there versus going to the pharmaceutical section, you're already moving in the right direction, right? So kudos, awesome, okay? Um, you are, you're absolutely moving in the right direction, but when you want quality and like no guessing about what's in your bottle, um, this is where you go, okay? So that's where, that's where quality matters. Um, next, I want to talk about um, the three ways that you can use essential oils. So the first way is topically. So typically when you are using essential oil, you're going to put it on your on your body where your ailment is. If I have a sore shoulder, I'm gonna rub it on my shoulder. If I have a headache, maybe across my forehead, my temples, the back of my neck. Um, if I'm trying to do something that impacts my entire system, like my immune system or my sleep, um, my feet actually have the largest pores. So if I put them on the bottom of my feet, because they're carried through the bloodstream, they will go systemic through my body within uh, 20 minutes. So they're fast. Okay, they work very fast. Um, and it, that's a, a great way to use them, even if you don't um, if you don't care for the smell of an essential oil, um, that's a great way to use them too. So when you're applying them topically, I always suggest that you start with diluting. Absolutely, for sure, make sure you are diluting when you're using them on your kiddos. Um, and it, message me and I can absolutely link you up to a great dilution chart that I like to use that breaks it down um, into into how much to use on, on what age of child and all that sort of thing. Because you got to think, if, if one drop works for our big bodies, um, what does it do for their little bodies, okay? And even my husband, he uses my kids' rollerballs, okay? Um, and that, because that works perfectly for him, whereas... Um, I sometimes don't even use the roller balls and I'll talk about roller balls because they're super handy. So this one here is a roller ball that I made and you can get, you can get empty roller balls on Amazon or wherever. Um, when it comes to the tools you need to use your essential oils, like I'm going to talk about diffusers and coconut oil and all that kind of stuff, scoop that up wherever. Okay. I mean, quality might differ, uh, but the they're, they're tools that you need in order to use your oils. So this is called a roller ball, okay? And it's got a, a roller ball on the end, okay? So this gray piece pops right off and you can fill it with whatever essential oils you want. So this here is what I call flu bomb, okay? And I will explain what is in my flu bomb. Um, equal parts, uh, what's in here? Oregano, tea tree, lemon, on guard and frankincense, okay? And I will explain what all of those oils mean, um, but that is what is in here. And then I top the rest up with coconut oil. And the nice part about this is it's already diluted, right, for my kiddos. Um, you can either get coconut oil through doTERRA or you can get it at the grocery store. It's fractionated coconut oil. It just means the fat's taken out of it. So you don't wanna use the hardened coconut oil. Um, and the nice part is it's already diluted uh, before my, when my kids get up in the morning. I mean, we keep this by our toothbrushes and when you brush your teeth, I either roll, you know, down their spine or we roll the bottom of their feet and then they're, they're ready to go. They're good to go. So this is a really nice way um, so that you're not trying to mix it all in your hand and, and rub it on topically as well. I mean, I could make one, this one is for uh, boosting their immune system, but I could make one for pain, right? And I could roll my shoulder. I could make one for headaches and I could rub my head. Um, I have these in my purse everywhere um, and the nice part is is you can cater it for you okay because unlike with a, a pharmaceutical prescription that is basically just saying um, you know here's a, a based on your your height weight gender whatever um, this is the dose that you get plants recognize that on a cellular molecular level we are all designed differently Okay, so I might need one drop, you might need two drops, the person next to you might need three drops. With doTERRA, you never typically need more than three drops of something, but always start with diluting it, okay? And then apply it where the ailment is. You're never going to put them in your eyes, up your nose, uh, in your ears, wherever your mucous membranes are, don't put them there, okay? Um, you, it's not that if you get it in your eye, you're going to go blind, um, but it stings, okay? So what you're going to do is is recognize water and oil don't mix, right? So flushing your eyes with water, not going to be helpful. Grab your coconut oil or olive oil, jojoba oil, whatever you, whatever you use, um, and uh, 
uh, flush your eyes with that. I actually have a roller ball of just coconut oil um, that I use just in case because then I can just roll around my eyes and I'm good to go. So um, topically is, is a very popular way to use your essential oils. And again, they are fast, okay? The second way that you can use them um, is aromatically. So you can do this a couple different ways. So first you could either get a diffuser. Um, these are super easy to use. You just um, open it up, put some water in, put the put a few drops of essential oil in. Um, and what the, you want to make sure it's a diffuser. Um, what diffusers do is they, um, they vibrate inside. There's pieces in here. And what it does is it, uh, breaks up the, the molecular compounds of the essential oil and puts it into the air. Make sure how smell amazing, but even better part is it does things like you know, boost your immune system. It can calm anxiety. It can help you sleep. It can give you energy. Um, it can level your emotions, whatever you're needing, right? So um, in my diffuser, I always, always, always have the blend to help boost our immune systems. I mean, my husband works with the public. I work with the public. Um, my, my kids are at an age now where, you know, they're just little cesspools of awesomeness right um and and i want it's it just makes me feel better as a mom when all of their little friends come over to play that we kind of have it you know it, it doesn't matter if someone comes over with a runny nose i got it covered right so it's that level of <sighs> feeling right that deep breath that you can kind of take so a diffuser is one way another way you can do it um is even just take the essential oil they're aromatic compounds, so you can just smell the bottle or you can put a drop in your hands and create your own diffuser, okay? So, and just, I call it the scent tent. Just cup your face. Or I'm wearing aromatherapy bracelets. So as long as they have lava beads on them, then you can drop the essential oils on there or sometimes I'll just put it on my wrist and, and have it that way, okay? So, Aromatic, okay, because you have this cluster of cells right here. So what the essential oil is actually doing is I'm smelling it. It's going up to my brain and working with my limbic system within 15 seconds, okay? So this is fast. So if you are looking for an emotional impact um, or there's a ton of research out there that shows that essential oils can impact all of your vital signs, right? Your temperature, your heart rate, everything. Okay, so um, you can actually lower your blood blood pressure with smell. Okay, you can lower your temperature, um, and we will talk about which ones to use and and how I even know that. Okay, the third way to use essential oils is internally, and again, this is where I only go with DoTerra. Um, a lot of the bottles that you will have will say on them, "Do not ingest, do not take internally for aromatic use only," and that is your first indicator that that it, it is not pure essential oil in the bottle. You should be able to pick up your bottle of peppermint, just like I can go and pluck that plant from my garden and eat it. You should be able to go to your plant or to your plant in a bottle, um, put a put a drop in some water and take it. Okay. So I personally love. So I mentioned wild orange before. I love to just take wild orange. Um, and this is how I start my day every day. And if you're looking for a, a good health habit, um, it is chug water first thing in the morning. Um, your body's dehydrated. Okay. There you go. So I have my, this is about a liter of water. Um, and I chug one of these before I do anything first thing in the morning, but I always add a drop of you know, whether it's wild orange or lemon or grapefruit, any of those plants are really high in limonene. Okay. You don't need to know what limonene is. Just know that it's really cleansing for your body. Um, yes, it kickstarts your metabolism and all that kind of stuff, but it, it is so good for, you know, cleansing, um, and so good for your gut health. Okay. So, and then done. It's a huge gulp. <coughs> Woo. <coughs> Seriously, huge gulp. That you always want to make sure that if you are storing your essential oils or that, you know, if my water is now going to be sitting here for the rain, remainder of my class, um, that you are using, I like to use the stainless steel or aluminum, um, container. You can also grab a glass one, right? But you don't want to use plastic. Plastic doesn't have great things in it, um, and the essential oils would just draw all that 
garbage out. Okay, so don't use that. So delicious. Ah, and energizing. We'll talk about that. So now let's chat about what I would say are your top 10 oils. Okay. Um, oh, if you're not going to drink them, use them in veggie capsules. Outside of my citrus oils, I really can't, uh, I really can't fathom the, the taste. You can get these veggie capsules through doTERRA. Again, you can find other ones I've seen them at the health food store as well. Um, but those ones were gelatin based, which are, isn't really great for you, but basically it's the size of like a liquid gel sort of thing. And then you just take the lid off, put your essential oils in and then take them. So if I felt like my body was fighting something, I could take the oils that are in my flu bomb, put them in here, take them and put this on and get all those oils in my diffuser and feel like a million bucks. Okay. Like this is your ultimate prevention when it comes to like cold and flu, um, allergy season, anything. Okay. So let's talk about your top 10 oils. So first I want to talk about lemon. So lemon is, um, I wish you guys could smell this right now. It's very uplifting. It's very clean. Okay. And I grew up, I grew up in the eighties, the nineties, right? Pine saw was everything, right? So I associate lemon with clean. Okay. Um, don't use any of that stuff in my house. Now, if I am looking, I mentioned that I love to drink the lemon. It's very cleansing for my system. I will also diffuse it and it cleans the air. But then this is also, this is my cleaning cabinet. Water, vinegar, lemon. It works amazing on it, glass, anything. Okay. Um, I also love, uh, it, I mean, this is like built-in goo gone. My oldest daughter has type one diabetes and um, she has insulin site, her insulin pump and the site changes, but the sites are so, so sticky, okay? You just put a couple drops of lemon on it and it peels right off. If you need a Band-Aid off, if you need anything, hockey tape, whatever, right? Um, you can tell I'm Canadian, right? Think of hockey tape. You just you just put some lemon on it and it takes it right off. It's awesome. So that is lemon. So think cleansing when you think lemon. But I love to drink it. It tastes delicious. Um, another one that is delicious and is probably um, my, you know, it's my, I'm trapped on an island. What oil do I bring? I really struggle with whether I would take, I got a fly in my house. Wants to be wants to be in the video. Um, I really struggle whether I would take lavender or frankincense, but I think I think lavender might win only because um, a I'm trapped on an island, so I'm probably going to need some calming down. This I want you to think calming when you think of lavender. Okay, um, the smell of it is very calming. This is in our diffuser at nighttime. It's so nice. Um, if uh, if you know, I mean, I have two little girls. If it's epic meltdown city, or if even I'm feeling a little bit anxious, a drop in my hand, smell it, but then rub it in the bottom of our feet. Um, so I have a, I have a roller ball of just lavender. And what I do, um, is I'll, if the girls are having a moment, I'll just say, you know, go, go take a deep breaths. Right. And they'll take the roller ball, they'll roll their hands, cup their face and take three deep breaths. Right. It's kind of a double whammy. I'm using natural tools to help them calm down, but that I'm also teaching them to breathe. One of the best things that we can do, but we don't do it very often. Um, so lavender. So lavender is very calming, but it's also very calming for the skin, okay? So if you get a, it takes the sting out of a bee sting, it takes the itch out of a mosquito bite, it takes the the redness out of every anything. It is an antiseptic and antifungal. It's awesome. So if you have a sunburn or anything, anything, Lavender. Okay. So that, that is a key one. Um, I've already touched on peppermint, but peppermint, we know really good for your digestive system, right? So putting a draw, I love to end my day with a hot cup of water and a drop of peppermint oil and take it down. Um, I also love to use it for headaches. Again, have a roller ball of just peppermint across my forehead, the back of my neck. If I'm, if I'm feeling like I'm going to get a headache. Um, also bugs, hate peppermint, hate them. So if you are wanting to get rid of spiders or mice or anything in your house, spray some, spray some peppermint or put peppermint on a cotton ball and place them around your house. It's awesome. Um, but that's peppermint also is very cooling. So whether you are having a fever or a hot flash, either create a roller ball and, and roll it up and down the back of your neck. If my kids wake up with a fever, 
that's what I do. I take the rollerball, I roll it up and down their spine. Um, and I've had fevers drop from 100 back down to 98 in like 20 minutes. So it, it works it works really, really well. Um, and it recognizes it. It lets our bodies do what it needs to do naturally, right? Versus if I were to just say, oh, you have a fever of 100 or 101, I'm going to give you some Tylenol. And then it just, it brings it down, but it doesn't actually start supporting their bodies to to fight what what's going on. Like, why is your body, body fevering, right? Our bodies need, it's okay for them to fever, right? That's another subject subject for another time. Um, but peppermint also really great for, for fevers, right? Um, another one, tea tree oil, also known as melaleuca. It is from the melaleuca plant. Um, but tea tree oil, I want you to think infections. Okay. So anytime there's an associated infection, uh, this is, this is where you're going to use this one. Um, I love to use it as like a zit zapper. If I feel like I'm getting a, a pimple, just put it on it and it, like disappears overnight. Um, but even if, if my kids get like a cut or a scrape that I feel, um, you know, needs, I don't want it to get infected. I'll, I'll spray some tea tree on there. Um, it's also really good for like, if you have a sore throat, that's why this one here in particular is in my, in my flu bomb roller ball. Um, and it's just, it's amazing at, at killing bacteria and another kind of sista to uh tea tree oil is oregano so oregano is nature's antibiotic okay it absolutely kills anything and you can actually you can go on youtube and and search the there's a petri dish where they have bacteria growing in it and they put a drop of tea tree oil, oil on it and it kind of starts carving its way through put a drop of oregano and it implodes it's just Cellulated bacteria, okay? A lot of benefits for cell health. This is the only one though, um, out of the top 10 that you would not use proactively, right? This is the one you're going to use. I mean, you can use it on things like athlete's foot or warts or skin tags or that kind of stuff, but you're not going to use it to prevent yourself from getting sick. It is in my roller ball, but it's very, it's minimal and diluted, okay? Um, whereas that is one, uh, it took me a very long time to go through a bottle of oregano because um, you don't use it that often, right? Because the idea is that once you're reducing your toxic load um, and starting to, you know, do all of the lifestyle sort of hacks, that you're not getting sick very often, right? But when you, when you are feeling like, I'm gonna get your veggie capsules out because you are not gonna wanna put that in water. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, but it works. Uh, next one I'm going to talk about is frankincense. So frankincense is the king of oils. It is an anti-inflammatory. It is an antifungal. It is an antibacterial. Um, I personally take it every single day in a capsule um, because of its anti-cancer properties. So anything that um, is, if you suffer from anything on a cellular level, um, I, I've not had cancer, but a lot of people in my family have. My mom's had it a few times actually. So this is my way of being thinking prevention, okay? Um, so in I take a capsule every single morning that I make myself. Um, in that capsule, I put in On Guard, which I will talk about next. Um, I put a drop of frankincense. I also put in it a drop of turmeric and a drop of copaiba. Uh, turmeric and copaiba and frankincense, all plants that if you are looking for the best bang for your buck in terms of health benefits, um, use those. Okay. Uh, turmeric, uh, helps, I mean, with your gut health and your cell health and just really creating healthy cells as well. And then copaiba, copaiba is getting a lot of attention right now because it's very similar to CBD oil, except for it comes from a tree in Brazil. So zero risk of THC. Um, and it, it, but it's actually better. It, it's just a better plant. Um, so people are using it for things like inflammation, sleep, anxiety, depression, those sorts of things. Um, but it, uh, again, in terms of gut health, cell health, um, it's, it's an unreal plant. So I, I put it with frankincense in a capsule every single morning. Um, and frankincense is also an oil enhancer. So if you have an oil that um, you think needs just a little bit extra oomph, so if I have a headache, peppermint's great. If I have a migraine, I'm going to take the peppermint and the frankincense and layer it. Okay. Or I'm just going to take frankincense on the pad of my thumb, push it to the roof of my mouth and take it internally that way. So, um, it's going to take that peppermint and it's going to make it extra strength. If I want to have a really good sleep, 
Lavender is awesome. If I want to have a lights out drool on my pillow kind of sleep, lavender and frankincense. You clue it in, you get it, okay? It takes those plants and makes them extra strength. The next one I want to talk about is On Guard. And this, this oil is my why. This oil is, um, it's, it's a blend of plants. And the next four that I'm going to talk about are all blends that doTERRA has put together. They've taken common ailments and, and put them together. So this blend is all the really high antioxidant plants that help to boost your immune system. And this was the oil that I first started diffusing after I had my daughter. Um, and it just gave me that sense of, okay, you know, I, I know that I'm doing something healthy within our home. Um, I'm killing all the germs in the air. Um, I'm boosting our immune system so that then I can show up to take care of her, right? Because ain't no one got time to be sick, right? So I, like I mentioned, I put this in my capsule every morning. It is in, you know, pretty much every rollerball that I make just because you can never boost your immune system too much. That's not even a thing. Um, we put it, it's also in my diffuser all the time. So in your diffuser, you can you can combine the oils, right? And make them work for you. So I always have um, On Guard with whatever I need. So when I fill them in the morning, I usually do something citrusy. So say I do three drops of On Guard, three drops of wild orange during the day to, ke to keep me energized, right? Any of your citrus oils are gonna give you energy. And then at night, I'll go um, On Guard, lavender, and breathe or easier depending on where you live that's where it's what it's called um that that's my nighttime blend okay so i've got this to boost my immune system and kill airborne pathogens i've got this one to help me sleep and then this one here ladies and gents is to open your airways and this was the one when i put it in my hand i like love the smell of this one so this one has you know your your peppermint your eucalyptus um it's it's basically vix on steroids and it's, it's beautiful. Um, I love to put this in my diffuser, open up our airways. Why I do it at night is, is so that I have a really good sleep, right? Um, so I, we put this in our diffuser. I love to put it on topically. Um, but if you suffer from something like allergies or uh, cold and flu, this is, this is going to be your golden child right there. Um, another blend that doTERRA made for your digestive system, where my digestive suffers at, um, is called Digest Zen or Zengest. Um, so this one here is designed from any, any part of your digestive system, from entry to exit. So whether you have, um, you know, acid reflux or heartburn or indigestion, or whether you are constipated or have diarrhea or feel nauseous, whatever's going on, right? All those sexy things that we don't like to talk about. Um, this is going to be the golden one. So during my pregnancy, I would put a drop on my chest instead of taking something like Tums. Um, and then when my daughter was born, she's not a pooper. I honestly, I started using this one on her when she was like five days old. Because in her first five days of life, I think she had one poop. It's not healthy, right? So um, I uh, I did just a super, super diluted version and I would rub it right on her belly or the bottom of her feet. Um, and I can, five years later, we can still get her having a poop every single day, which is huge, right? Which is great. So, um, so this is a really key one. And then another one is called Deep Blue. So Deep Blue, you'll notice, has a little bit of a different cap. That is because it has wintergreen in it. Um, and wintergreen isn't one of those oils that you want to um, ingest orally. So um, it has a little bit of a different lid, but it is designed for sore muscles, aches, and pains. And it is amazing. I like to reserve the essential oil for if I'm going to make a rollerball or if I'm going to have a bath, right? I love to bath in my oils, guys. Tip, take a half a cup of Epsom salts, put whatever oils, just like you're making a diffuser blend up, put whatever oils in. I usually do like lavender, deep blue, on guard, breathe, they're all in there. And then I sprinkle it in the tub, right? Because if you just put the oils in, it's just gonna float to the top, right? Just sprinkle that in there and it's the best bath of your life, it's awesome. Um, whereas 
if I'm going to apply it topically, I love the deep blue rub. So it comes in a rub as well. Um, and if you need some extra support, it also comes in a, uh, a polyphenol capsule as well so that you can take it that way. But this is my husband's love language. It is hidden everywhere. It is in his gym bag, his work bag, you know, the bathroom counter. He applies it like lotion when he gets out of the shower. Um, he just absolutely loves it. So um, we go through quite a bit of this, but it has all the best plants in it to help not only with um, with inflammation and, and sore muscles, but it also helps with create blood flow to the area and where you have blood flow and circulation, you have healing, right? So um, this is this is a, a, a godsend. Uh, pair this with frankincense. You're not only making this extra strength, but you are also um, naturally helping with more inflammation on this end as well. So those are your top 10, okay? Those are the ones that I would say, if you had in your life, you have made over your medicine cabinet, you've made over your cleaning bucket, You've, you've gotten rid of your plugins and candles and all of that, the sprays, all of that garbage that is not serving your health in any way, shape, or form, okay? So grab yourself a diffuser, get yourself the top 10 oils, and you're golden. But now you're thinking, how did I know what to use? Um, so I personally love, there's an app called The Essential Life, or you can get it in a book as well. Um, and this is really nice because there's big hardcover ones as well. Um, because you can search by ailment or you can search by plant. And yes, you can do that on Google as well, but what I love about these is that they are research-based, right? So, I mean, I can Google it, but I can only read so many mom blogs before I'm like, just tell me what oil to use, right? So, um, get the tool for sure. So, you can search lavender, and you know, you might only have been using it to help you sleep or with anxiety, but then, you also have a million other things that you can use for it, right? So, um, or if you get um, a rash or have eczema and want to make a lotion, you can just look up eczema and it'll tell you what oils to use and how to use them. It'll say, you know, use them aromatically, topically, take them internally, okay? Um, so that's what I absolutely love about that tool. So, how do you hook yourself up? So um, I'm going to post a link as well, um, but what you're going to do is I want you to decide on how you are going to get started. So my top recommendation is to start with the top 10, okay? So there's two options when it comes to kits and the top 10. Um, you can buy them individually. You can get a wholesale account for $42 and kind of mix and match. But what you'll find is by the time you've added three oils to your cart, you've probably paid for more than what you would pay for a kit. Okay, so there's two different kits. One is called the Family Essentials Kit. The Family Essentials Kit has the top 10 oils, lemon, lavender, peppermint, tea tree, oregano, frankincense, On Guard, Easy Air, Zen Jest, and Deep Blue. Okay, those are your 10. So it has those. The difference is, um, is it comes in smaller bottles, so five mil bottles, which are 85 drops, okay? Um, the other kit is called the Home Essentials Kit. The Home Essentials Kit comes with the same 10 oils, but it comes in bigger bottles, which are 15 mil bottles. That's 250 drops, and like I mentioned, in your diffuser, you need a couple drops. In a capsule, you need a drop, you know, if you're making rollerballs. So it takes a little bit longer to go through them. The nice part about the Home Essentials Kit, um, other than the fact that you're getting uh, three times the amount of oil for not even twice the price, is it also comes with a free diffuser. So it comes with the Petal 2.0. Um, and the nice part about the Petal diffuser um, is it uh, it runs for up to 12 hours. It has lights, um, and you can you can set it whether you want it running at um, two, six, or 10 hours. Um, it's a nice it's a nice gray. Um, so I love that one in in our bedrooms. That's what we have in all of our bedrooms. So um, that's what I recommend is either starting with one of those two if you want to take it to the next level, and maybe initially you're not interested in. DIY or you know making your own cleaning products or toothpaste or all that kind of stuff there's a natural solutions kit that you can get as well and what I love about that one is it comes with the top 10 but it comes with 20 other oils as well um, that are different blends right the blend for anxiety the blend for energy the blend for 
like actual, there's a, there's a blend called past tense for headaches. Um, it comes with all the blends. It comes with coconut oil. Um, it comes with veggie capsules. It comes with, um, a diffuser. It actually comes with the Lumo diffuser. Um, and it comes with, um, a cleaner solution, laundry detergent, toothpaste, um, all the things that you're using in your house that probably aren't chemical free, right? And it starts you on the lifelong vitality pack. So the Lifelong Vitality Pack, this is actually doTERRA's number one selling product. Um, it has three different vitamins in it. Um, it has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you don't end up liking it, you can just ship it back. Said no one ever, okay? This stuff is amazing. Um, you, It has your one for all of your cellular health, so as we're reproducing new cells, helps them create healthy cells, um, all of your omegas, okay, and your fatty acids, um, and a food nutrient supplement. So that just means that, you know, even if I am eating whole foods, that because of the way our food is grown and our water quality, air quality, all that kind of stuff, our food isn't as nutrient dense as it needs to be in order for our bodies to thrive. So this has your extras, vitamins, A, B, C, D, E, K, magnesium, right? Like all of those um, in order to supplement the nutrients that are already in your food and guys like I know I always took a multivitamin but I never really felt a difference this one is amazing you also get probiotics you get digestive enzymes all of the stuff that you need uh, for your gut health so what I want you to do is I want you to click on the link that I have given you um, and I want you to choose choose which way you're gonna get started so either you're gonna start with your wholesale account and kind of mix and match what you need um, or you are going to start with your top 10 oils uh, via the smaller kit or the home essentials kit. The home essentials kit is personally what I started with, or you're gonna kick it up a notch and you're gonna start with the natural solutions kit. Either way, guys, your future self will absolutely thank you for hooking it up with the tools, okay? I know every time I take my, my frankincense, turmeric, copaiba, on guard capsule every morning, um, I know it's one of those things that in 20, 30, 40, 50 years, I will be saying, thank God I was taking that every single day. So um, hope you guys learned a ton. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. There's a link also um, if you guys want to book a session with me. I'm happy to coach you through it all. See ya.